Hey guys, Little V here. Yes, you can use my music, and no, I don't do tabs. And I've finally just fed up with it. I'm using my microphone at my setup for these videos going forward because the audio uh, microphone jack on this is busted, so no matter what microphone I plug into it, it doesn't switch over to it. It only uses the internal microphone on my camera, which is infuriating. And uh, especially for a guy who, you know, audio quality is kind of my thing. I, I like having things sound nice, and it's not great when your camera makes everything sound like poop. So, going forward, this is how we're doing it. Anyways, rant over. Welcome back to Q&A with V, the show where I answer your guys' questions, and we all collectively point and laugh at the stupid on the internet. But first, updates! Uh, first big thing is I have fully upgraded my Jericho Guitars Edge. This is actually Edgelord, by the way, if you're, if you're wondering. So now I have an Evertune equipped on it, and I have a set of Devin Townsend Fishman Fluence pickups, and uh, it sounds pretty fantastic, not gonna lie. It's pretty great. Also, huge shoutouts to Kyle Ginn of Ginn Guitars, that's G-I-N-N, -N, up in Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, he's the guy who installed the Evertune for me, and does awesome work, and super reasonable, and the rates are pretty reasonable as well too, so if you're looking to get one installed yourself, go check him out. Also, just another quick PSA. The Pentakill album that just came out has no right being that good. It's really freaking good. Uh, basically, Pentakill is like a joke metal band based out of League of Legends. I don't even care about League of Legends. I love that album. It's so good. Go check it out. Any tracks you recommend learning to get better at rhythm guitar? No gent, though. Well, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot by not wanting to play any gent. I mean, that's like saying you want to learn how to sweep pick and tap and shred and do all the virtuoso wheelie 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 stuff, but you don't want to listen to any power metal at all. You're like, no, none of that kind of stuff. Honestly, just, just swallow your pride and go listen to some gent and try and play along to it because your rhythm will get really good. That's what gent is. It is just rhythm. Have you ever tried Diamond Guitars? I personally like them a lot. I actually have tried Diamond Guitars, back when they were called uh, DBZ Guitars. Yes, they were called DBZ Guitars. Um, they were interesting. I really liked the body designs, and the necks were giant. It was really bizarre. I played on one model. It was kind of like a, a 335-style model. Uh, that like The body was like ridiculously thin, and the neck was like a giant D shape, like a big Gibson neck. It was really bizarre. Unfortunately, all the ones I played on had a really bad setup. So I uh, didn't really enjoy any of them, really, but they make some cool looking stuff. Hey V, do you have a pedal board? And if so, what kind of pedals do you have? Not really. Uh, I have the Helix, which you can kind of see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's kind of right there. It's right there. Hold on. I'm trying not to like bump into a thousand things at the same time. Oh, God. And I have the floor controller behind me as well, too, as well as uh, an expression pedal for like wah and volume and stuff. So I usually basically just use that for everything which is super awesome because the Helix really shines when you can actually actively affect like all the and turn on and off your effects on the fly. As far as pedals though, I do have a uh, Misha Mansur um, uh, Overdrive, not the Horizon one, the other one, the silver one uh, from Protones Pedals. And uh, I have, um, I believe I have an, oh, what is it? It's a Hot Mod, Hot Rod 800 uh, distortion pedal as well too that I don't really use all that much. Um, and then I have like a tiny little delay pedal. That's I can't remember what they are, but it's, it's that series that's specifically just tiny little pedals. But uh, I would like to play around with some more analog pedals at some point, just because uh, I do enjoy turning knobs and, and playing with knobs. Take that as you will. How much does the Evertune cost? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Let me just pull up all the information right here. We have the F model, which is your first Strat style guitars. That is $295. We have the T model, which is the Telecaster, which is also $295. We have the G model, which is a Gibson, uh, for also for $295. We have the seven string strat style, that is 355, and we have the uh, F uh, strat style eight string, which is 395. All of which come in chrome and black. Shilling end. This is on the ramen challenge video, by the way, for context. I ate that bowl's worth of lasagna yesterday. Luckily, my metabolism is still good after 33 years. I can pretty much eat whatever I want without gaining much weight. I'm gonna call bullshit on that, sir. I ate essentially four bowls of ramen. So that's one of everyone else sitting at that table, plus one more. It's a giant bowl. I don't think you truly understand how much ramen is in that bowl. So either you're a football player and eat like 4,000 calories a day, or you're a huge liar. I'm calling you out. Sorry, bud. Oh man, we have an update to a previous comment mentioned on this channel. Uh, for those of you who don't remember the um, self-proclaimed uh, English expert, then take it from someone who is an expert in understanding English. 
Well, they replied back, and uh, here's what they have to say. Um, I'm a straight girl. I accidentally skipped this vid. Also, don't take my comment seriously. It was meant to be lighthearted and funny. Just the kind of person I am. Also, I'm not a kid. I'm 28. I'm so sorry, miss. I didn't mean to mistake you for a teenage boy. You see, I was under the impression that's how old you were from the comment, but now that we know that you're a 28-year-old woman, I take it back. I'm, I'm so sorry. You are a 28-year-old self-proclaimed English expert. And now we find out if she has a sense of humor or not. And on that note, that's it for me this week. Rock on, peace out, and we'll see you next time.